Hi boys and girls, today we are going to be making a landscape inspired by the artist Romero Brito. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to write our name on the back of our paper. I'm going to put mine up in the corner so that if I make a mistake and need to use the back, it's not in the middle of my picture. And once I do that, I flip my paper over. Now, we are going to be drawing the landscape, which just means a picture of the land. We're going to start with a horizon line, or the line where the land meets the sky. And when we're drawing today, we're going to draw lightly. That is just in case we make any mistakes, we can go back and erase them very easy. If we push very hard with our pencil, it's harder to erase those mistakes. So when we're drawing, we're drawing light. Now you can start by just doing a line across your paper. It could be wavy, it could be curved, it could be whatever you want. I think I want to start with some hills though. So I'm going to start at the edge of my paper and I'm going to drag my pencil down lightly to the bottom of the page. And that's my first hill. And my second hill is just going to come from behind the first hill and go to the edge of the page. Now, think in mine, I'm going to use a sunshine. I'm going to put him coming up from between the two peaks of the hills, but you don't have to do yours like this. If you want your sun up in the sky, you could do a circle up in the sky. It doesn't even have to be a sun. It could be a moon. Maybe your landscape is at night and you want to draw a moon in your sky. That is fine too. I'm going to do my sun right here like it's a sunrise. And I think I'm going to add some clouds. And yours can be different than mine. It could be similar to mine, but we are not copying. We never like to copy somebody else's art because then it's not our art. It's more like their art. I think that's good for clouds. I would like my sun to have some sunshine rays coming off of it. So I'm just going to start at the edge of the sun and do a line all the way off the edge of the paper. I don't stop my sun rays because I just want them to go all the way off. I go till I meet the cloud, do another one till I meet the cloud, and just keep going until I like how many sun rays I have. If your sun rays, if you're doing this and it goes through something, it would continue on the other side. Okay, now I think I have all the basic pieces I want, but my next step is to add patterns. A pattern is a line or a shape that repeats itself. And Romero Brito really loves using patterns in his artwork. If you're stuck and can't think of any patterns to add to your artwork, we have some sample pattern papers for inspiration. So you can have these by your desk or you can come up with your own. To put patterns into your drawing, you're gonna choose one pattern for each section. So this whole part of the grass would be one section. So get one pattern. This smaller section of grass is one section, one pattern. My sun, one section, one pattern. I think you get the pattern that I'm making here. So I'm gonna start by just putting a pattern into my one section of grass. This one, I think I want to be polka dots. So I'll just go in and draw my polka dots with my pencil. Later, when we're done drawing everything on our paper, we have all our landscape done, we have all of our patterns done, we are going to trace it all in Sharpie. That is why it does not matter if we're pushing super light with our pencil, we don't need to push hard at all to make those dark lines, because later we're going to be tracing every line in Sharpie. So don't worry if you think you can't see it or if it's not dark enough for you, it's okay, we're gonna do it in Sharpie later. Now I'm just gonna keep adding patterns to every section. Sometimes they can make sense, sometimes they don't. Are there polka dots in the grass in real life? No, but this is art and it can be whatever we want. I'm gonna do some flowers in this section. And flowers could be a pattern as long as the line or the shape is repeating. So these two patterns that I have done so far are both repeating shape patterns. The next one I'm gonna do is a repeating line pattern. I think I just wanna do stripes in this section. And that's just one line 
that's repeating over and over and over again and it makes a pattern. I think you get it by now, boys and girls. There are examples up on the board or you can come up with your own patterns. Yours is probably going to look completely different than mine and that is perfect. Have fun, bye.